Hi everyone and welcome back to my vlog. Ang topic po natin ngayon ay patungkol naman ulit sa labor related issues, okay? So as part of the due process po, meaning ito yung mga kailangan na documentation or kailangan ng mga proseso na pagdaanan para maging legal yung proseso, let's say nung disciplinary action or yung pagkaka-dismiss sa isang empleyado o is pagkakasuspendi niya. No? So ang isa sa mga dinadaanan nito ay yung tinatawag nating two notice rule. So, yung two-notice rule is um, yun yung supposedly talaga opportunity ninyo para maibigay ninyo yung side nyo dun sa story at ma-notify kayo una dun sa first notice kung ano bang naging pagkakamali ninyo at ano ang na-violate ninyo company rule, okay, or batas. And then second, and that should give you yung opportunity nga po na ibigay yung side ninyo through writing or if meron pong magiging hearing ng mga conduct na makapag-participate doon. And then yung second notice would be yung um, actual na, na ano, um, decision nila, either i-dismiss nila yung naging administrative complaint sa inyo or yung hearing or yung iba, you will just be reprimanded, yung iba, warning, yung iba, suspension, pero yung iba, nagiging termination. So, the two-notice rule, if nasunod siya talaga at uh, na-comply ng employer at meron siyang ground or basis talaga to dismiss an employee, that would make it um, a valid dismissal. Okay, But of course, uh, if a dismissal is illegal or not, Ibang usapin yun kasi like what I said, dapat nasunod niya lahat yung proseso and at the same time, dapat yung uh, may ground or may basis and the ground exists under the law at talaga namang nandoon siya sa, ano, dun sa circumstance or facts nung, nung case, nung situation. No? But of course, bago yun, dun sa first notice, yun yung binabanggit natin at yung magiging topic natin ngayon na notice to explain. Okay, so ikaw ba ay ever nakatanggap na sa iyong employment no tinatawag na notice to explain? O kaya baka may ibang tawag doon, may ibang appellation sila, may ibang title doon sa sulat, pero essentially notice to explain siya. Well, yun ay um, isang dokumento kung saan naka-address siya sa'yo, dated siya, naka-address siya sa'yo, at nakasulat doon kung ano yung parang naging pagkakamali mo, or naging violation mo, or nagkaroon ng incident involving you sa workplace, no? And then, um, binibigyan ka doon ng pagkakataon para i-explain yung side mo. Ngayon, ano nga ba ang kailangan mong gawin pag nakatanggap ka ng iyong notice to explain? Usually po, may period yan, okay? Usually, bibigyan ka lamang na limang araw para makapag-explain in writing at nakasulat dyan with or without yung iyong written explanation or anything na isasubmit mo, magde-decide sila based on the documents or the basis that they already have, okay? So, it's very important na isasubmit mo yung explanation mo. And it doesn't have to be um, a full-blown um, letter or um, a pleading written by a lawyer, assisted by a lawyer, okay? Others, they would do a handwritten letter, heartfelt, say what you really want to say, and that works, okay? Others naman, other kasi will require a notarized notice to explain. I would understand this because, um, of course, it would, um, if it's public document, it makes it, um, kumbaga, parang on its face, all the more, um, provable. Kasi it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a document that could be, taken against the world since it's a public document but it's not necessary if you ask me since you're, it's just a notice to explain pero just if ni-require lang na employer mo then just to comply with it no? siguro the, comply, the, the employer just wants it nga to, to become a legal document or some sorts of that no? but there's no harm in that naman anyway it's your statement with or without a notarization it's your statement naman so what you're saying there is supposed to be true naman no? and then uh yung pong ano dyan, yung ang importante dyan is you, you you say what really happened, okay? If it's totally untrue, you go straight to the point and then say why. Sabihin nyo bakit hindi totoo yung nakasulat doon. At yun na rin yung opportunity ninyo na sabihin bakit hindi ka dapat mabigyan ng penalty or parusa because of that infraction. This is the first 
um, actual uh, opportunity para ma-prevent na lumaki yung case or umabot sa point na maging discussion and dismissal or ma-consider na employer ang dismissal. Okay? So, it's very important na you pay attention to the notice to explain and if nahihirapan po talaga kayo, go to a lawyer. Have the lawyer read the notice to explain. Have the lawyer assist you. Okay? Kasi I understand that some pag natatanggap nila to medyo parang they don't know what to do. It's the same way as a demand letter. Yung mga nakatanggap ng demand letter, they don't know what to do. Okay? So you go to a lawyer, let the lawyer assist you. Okay? But it's important that you write back. You send your employer your notice to explain and um after that of course um you could still naman talk to your employer verbally but make sure you have that written notice to explain okay uh yun lamang po um that's uh that's a portion or that's the start of of a labor case uh, but i i thought it was very important that uh we learn about it as well okay so That's all for today's vlog. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something ulit, ha? Bye!